it was a busy day in Charleston's courtrooms with developments in two major cases. On one side of Broad Street was Jamie Komorowski's bond hearing. She's a woman accused of drunk driving and killing a bride and injuring a groom, leaving their wedding. Right across the street in federal court, mm -hmm. ex-banker Russell Lafitte learned his prison sentence for his involvement in a multi-million dollar fraud scheme involving Alec Murdoch. And we're going to start with Conley Grayson. She was in court as Komorowski's bond was denied and joins us now. And Conley, you spoke with the victim's family today. Certainly an extremely emotional day for everyone in that courtroom. Yeah, Tessa Katie, Samantha Miller's family told me it was just as hard, if not harder, than it was at the first hearing back in April. They told me they are now able to focus on themselves and grieve and when it's time, prepare for the trial. Jamie Komorowski sat behind a screen crying Tuesday morning as a judge denied her bond. Directly across the room, Samantha Miller's family held hands and cried too, thankful for his decision. I feel like it's been three months and the time hasn't been served and she is a risk of flight and she is a danger to society and, he, and the judge felt that. Samantha's parents said the tragedy feels like yesterday. Created such havoc in everybody's life and why should she get out and just go about her merry way? After she does her time, she'll have the rest of her life with her family. I would give anything to hug my daughter again. <laughs> but Kamaroski could eventually bond out. The judge said if the trial is not anticipated for March 2024, Kamaroski will get a $150,000 bond with conditions like house arrest and monitoring of blood alcohol levels. Kamaroski's family was there too, hoping she could bond out now. First, they offered their condolences to Samantha's friends and family. They talked about Jamie's addiction problems and said there is a bed available for her at the Charleston Recovery Center. I will be there offering my dedication to help Jamie with her sobriety. Komorowski's attorneys claim this tragedy does not make her a flight risk or danger to the community. Well, these incidents are tragic and the allegations and charges that have been filed are as well. I would submit that she's not a wicked individual. She's just wavered. The Miller family wants people to remember their Sam, a friend, daughter, and sister who was taken too soon. It makes it such a bigger tragedy because she was a bride killed. She was Samantha Miller. And believe it or not, if you knew Samantha Miller, that's a bigger deal of her being gone in everybody's life. Miller's family says they are in the process of putting together a celebration of life for Sam. The prosecution says they hope to go to trial by spring or summer next year. Working for you, Conley Grayson, News 4.